Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. I am filming on my new Insta360 One RS, and I'm going to see how that works out. It's the only camera that I brought. I thought that I was going to have to smash this thing right off the bat. Turns out, though, and this is only the second time, really, that this has ever happened, I had a corrupt card. So I had a SanDisk Micro 128 gig card. So I put the card in, got everything set up after I had charged the new battery, this, that, and the other thing. I got it all ready to go. I turned it on. The blue light came on, and that's all that happened. I'm like, okay. After reading the directions and finding some videos online, it's like, okay, I got to hook it up to the app. After turning it on and off like 20 times, trying to get it to detect and to register and do all that initial shit that it's got to do, I finally decide before I smash it, well, you know what? Let me change cards just on the off chance that 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 might be it. I put the other card in, boom, and it came right up and it went through and it took about 10 minutes for it to go through and update the firmware and do whatever the hell it had to do before it actually turned on and I was able to use it. I was like, okay, crisis averted, Uh, I got it to work. Keep that in mind. If you're ever trying to set up your cam or turn your cams on and you're using any kind of card, see if you can change the cards if that'll make a difference because it did. The the biggest thing that, that pleases me to no end is this new audio adapter literally clicks into the side, although you do have to take the door off. So good luck. You might lose your door. And then the microphone plugs into the top and you can plug USB-C into the bottom. So now you can charge whilst you're recording audio, which that's huge because you had to choose one or the other. So that in in and of itself is fantastic. And the little cold shoe thing, which is lame and should have just come with it. It was 10 bucks, but it should have just come with this case. It should be on there. It just snaps in place and, and it's good to go. Everything seems pretty substantial and, you know, I can't complain. All right. So I've got four hour and 15 minute drive to get to my first meeting, which is at one. And at this point now, I'm going to be yeah, about a half an hour ish early, which is good because that gives me time to be a smart monkey and I can stop and go to the bathroom between here and there. It was supposed to be sunny and 70, but apparently it's going to be overcast and maybe in the 60s. Kind of a bummer, but. Okay, I'm through the first tunnel of the Chesapeake Bay Tunnel Bridge system. I'm heading down now into the second one, and they've got it down to one lane now. So, you know, just continual construction. So even though it goes to one lane anyways, I mean, along the bridge, it's only one lane. So, you know, it it just, I'm I'm behind an 18-wheeler, and and I'm doing 50 miles an hour. Granted, the speed limit's 55, and they usually watch it pretty closely so I wouldn't be going too much faster but I just feel like I'm I'm just dragging ass all right we're in the tunnel now so this will be a good test for this thing to see how it looks when we uh, get into the darker part it's actually not that dark all right I, I clearly am not capable of speaking yet I have not had enough of this latte and I'm just sort of like nah, I'm sure you're interested well it never fails every time I come up here it rains and even though the forecast did not say anything about rain until later in the week. It's been raining. Now that's bad for me for one very important reason. I really had to pee. You seen the theme there? There was nowhere for me to go. There was no businesses, anything. I was in the middle. There was woods on both sides. So I had to pull over to the side of the road and pee. So I was standing outside and it was pouring. (laughs) So I'm like soaking wet. Life on the road, man. And I might have to pull over again because There's a lot of uh, latte in me. Okay, kids. It's been a long day. It's 524. I finished my last meeting of the day. Now I'm driving to the hotel. I still have half an hour-ish to go before I get there. Despite the fact that it was rainy and shitty, the meetings were all productive. I mean, everybody was there. That's a plus. I got a lot accomplished. For now, I don't think you're going to get a very exciting video today because I've spent the entire day driving. I'm not even sure if I'm going to go straight to the hotel. I might just go to a restaurant and eat dinner because once I get to the hotel and I sit down, I'm not going to want to get back up. All right, so that's it. I'm just going to end the video now because I'm actually at a point where I want to get the frick out of this damn Forerunner. I've been sitting here for too long. I'm getting hangry. I need some food. And then I need to relax because uh, I'm having a much better experience with this RS over the R. I will not get rid of the R, though, because I can use that for non-audio type functions. So far, so good. I'm impressed. 
that everything works and I can see everything and it's kind of, the touch screen is still like all of a sudden I'm like hitting shit and it's turning features off and all that stuff because I touched on the wrong spot. That's probably user error. Once I get used to how to maneuver and where to push and touch and all that kind of stuff, giggity, I should be fine. I think, I think that this RS is a worthwhile upgrade. And I think that if you were frustrated by the R, that you might be pleasantly surprised with the RS. And remember, the monkey was ready to take a hammer to that thing. How many times? So at this point, for me to say that this thing is good, oh shit, I missed my turn. All right, so now I've missed multiple turns because I'm not paying attention because I'm hungry and I want to be out of this forerunner. So I'm just going to stop filming now. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.